with gold. Amen. They're transparent. Amen. Praise God. They have gates there. Amen. Made of pearls. Can you say amen? Praise God. There's no sickness. There's no disease. There's no poverty. There's no crime. There's no violence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And we know, we know just through, amen, the, the Hubble telescope. We know, amen, just through uh, uh, the, the uh, astronomy. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That there are planets all over, amen, the sky, all over the universe that have not yet to be discovered. Just imagine, amen, the billions and billions Amen, of planets. Amen, praise God. Amen. I wonder if maybe a few of them going to belong to me. Come on, say amen. We're going to be hopping planet to planet, visiting each other. You think about going door to door? No, man. Hallelujah. We're going we to all have our own solar system. Can you say amen? Praise God. We're going to rule and reign throughout eternity with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. The glory, amen, that he shall reveal has not yet been seen but I'm so glad hallelujah that one day hallelujah I was a sinner and a wretch undone I heard the voice of Jesus say come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my weighing the burden and the yoke you're bearing is hard I didn't have it easy in sin. Some of y'all might have had it easy in sin. Some of you might have had a cool, collected experience. When I was in sin, it was hard. It was hard as sin. I, it was so hard. Amen. Praise God. That when I came to Jesus, amen. Praise God. I found joy, 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 joy for my soul. Hallelujah. No matter how much I did. To make myself happy. No matter how much I pretended I was happy doing the things I was doing. It was nothing like when I found Jesus. A matter of fact, when he found me. Hallelujah. And I'm glad about it. It's been over 40 some odd years. Over 40 some odd years. I've been walking with Jesus. And I'm not tired yet. I'm looking to the day when he calls me home. And I hear him say, well done. Well done. Thou good and faithful servant, my brothers and my sisters, I want you to know you've come too far to turn around now. If you have not surrendered your heart, your mind, your life, and your soul to Jesus, you need to do it now. I want you to know tomorrow's not promised. We don't know how much time we have left on this earth. But one thing I do know is that I have no fear of the present I have no fear of the future because I know in whom I have believed. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus is my strength and my blessed assurance. Hallelujah. If you're listening to this broadcast and you have never made an intelligent decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you need to do it right now. Now is the acceptable day of salvation. Now is the day of the Lord. All you have to do is say, Father, I thank you for your son Jesus. I thank you that he suffered and died for my sins. I ask you to forgive me. Save me, Lord. Take away my sins that I will no longer be a sinner, but I'll be your child. And the Bible says, if you ask that in faith, believe me. And believe it in your heart, it's done. The angels of God are rejoicing in heaven. And then there's an angel that has a book that the angel is responsible for called the Book of Life. And he writes your name in that book. Amen. Hallelujah. When your name gets written in the Book of Life, what it means is you are a citizen of heaven. You're entitled to all the benefits, all the rights, all the privileges that a citizen has. That's, what, that's why you need to be a citizen in a country so you can be entitled to all the rights and benefits, amen? But when you're a citizen in the book of heaven, amen, in the kingdom of God, you have eternal benefits in this life and also in the life which is to come. I want you to tell somebody that you accepted Jesus. 
I want you to tell somebody that Jesus is your Savior. Don't worry about what people think. You better pay attention to what God thinks because everybody you see right now is going to leave you someday. They're here today and going tomorrow. Or you might leave them before they leave you. Who knows? But the bottom line is this. When you wake up, after you leave this world, you're going to be standing before a holy God. And he's going to know you by your name. And the book is going to be opened up. It's called the book of life. And you're going to see your whole life flash before you in an instant. And if you don't see somewhere in your life where you made a choice for Jesus, there's going to be somebody else standing at the door to pull you in. And they're not going to be angels. They're going to be demons from the dust of hell. They're going to pull you into utter darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of the teeth, where there's suffering beyond your wildest imagination, unending suffering without change, no hope of ever changing your situation, loss for our eternity from the presence of the living God. Most people won't tell you that, but you need to know without a doubt that rejecting God, living your life the way you want to live it and telling God you're going to do it your way and no other way is preparing yourself for a bunch of demons and tormentors who will torment you throughout eternity. And the end result is that you along with these demons will be cast into a lake of fire where there's brimstone and fire burning throughout eternity. Oh my God. That's the fate that awaits the devil and his angels. One day, hallelujah, we're going to know him as he is. And how we see him is going to be determined by what we do right now. You need to know that. You need to understand to reject God is to accept the condemnation and the judgment that was imposed upon you because of Adam's failure. But when you accept Jesus, you accept the correction, the changing, the forgiveness that he brought that you might have life and have that life more abundantly. God bless you. And don't forget, Jesus Christ is Lord. I could give him the glory.